Well, there is some Joey shit down here. Joey! Oh. Oh. No wonder I couldn't see. My fucking gun wasn't up. This is a bad idea. Why am I doing this? I should I should just go away now. No. I'm I'm stopping there. Unless I need to. <laughs> oh, it looks like I might need to. Hold on, let me let me just check over here first. Uh -oh. <laughs> let me go this way first. I'm finding oh, fucking blood everywhere. I think I have to. You are, or, uh... Me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Looks like I have to. I don't wanna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, strong. but I found a premonition tablet. I have to look. That was useless. Notes. October 23rd, 1946, Catacombs Beneath the Templar Head East with Unintelligible. Colleen had worked back with the Diggs and El Castillo, but she hasn't seen Blank. Blank killed thousands in the name of God. Blank and Colonel Pitts dead to slaughter blank what plague or cataclysm demanded such price so much blank whatever happened here millennia ago is blank all right oh this one okay 7th of december 1946 our finds have been so spectacular i couldn't resist breaking out the champagne as i entered the survey tent to pour a glass for mary i realized something was dry. She found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risk of using explosives to take sight. She was right, of course, but I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Why did you hide it? Whatever. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. We found Pazuzu's. We have to blow the place up. Yes. <laughs> But or right I could just fight it with a crowbar, with a hunk of steel. That works too. That's. They shouldn't be using guns. They should just be using steel. <laughs> this will make sense in post. Yeah, <laughs> I think I might have the option to uh, shoot you. <laughs> Who the fuck are these guys? Oh. Joey? Over there! Glad I took that cautious. It's fucking dark. Piece of shit. <laughs> oh, he's throwing grenades. Fucking asshole. Oh man, Nick and Jason are separate now. Yeah, it does. Oh man, it's just me and the Pazuzus now. Chittering away down here. Alright, A95. Uh, or 19. Uh, A9. Hmm, for the sun, huh? Oh. Excuse me. Uh 
Oh, okay. I'm, I don't think I'm Nick anymore. I hit a loading screen. No, oh, no, I'm still Nick. We're having a lot of random shit. Shh. Over there, there is a demon. <laughs> it's a fucking Pazuzu. American. You're not very good at being very quiet. Sound like bats. <laughs> they hear you. They hunt you. Seen their weakness? They burn in sunlight. This like any. Well, that's being, good now. They can be killed. You could also stab stake them through the heart. Let's stake through the heart. They're fucking They're vampires. vampires. <laughs> Your bullets were only the Pazuzus are vampires. Yeah. Even a truck falling so. on them just makes them angry. We do this together, okay? I have had zero decisions so far, by the way. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> there was no plan. No, I've gone, I've gone, I've gone into fucking feral stealth murder mode. I'm just gonna go do it. <laughs> um, yeah, the entire time you were reading documents, I was in a big ass action set piece, like killing the, fighting the. Oh, you were fighting. Demon. <laughs> oh fuck. Tight. Which isn't the first don't, time that's don't happened. Don't fuck up in your this. prompts now. We keep getting separated, being like someone's just chilling and while and like reading the documents while I'm like, uh <laughs> shit's <laughs> happening shit's going crazy over here. Oh man. Now I'm gonna have to do stealth prompts. <clears throat> oh, are you getting any stealth problems here? Yeah, I'm having like, don't fuck up. Yeah, your movement. <laughs> okay. I think. Well, I think it's my turn now. <laughs> oh. I can see like it fucking <laughs> slow down time. I guess I was like, oh, you got a QTE. Yeah. Here. <laughs> All right. Driving it. Get it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Bonding. This will end the war. We did it. We <laughs> we these, killed the monster together. <laughs> these two grunts who don't matter in the grand scheme of things towards the end of the war. Their I've friendship. Seen ugly in my life, but never that ugly. We'll end the hostilities. What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? They're Pazuzus. Didn't you see The Exorcist? <laughs> I don't know. Or I should say it's terrible sequel. <laughs> I shouldn't be yeah. here. I should be home. I wasn't even my supposed son. to be here today. <laughs> I hear you. Family's everything. 
I should have never come here. Yeah, no, fuck this place. It's his birthday today. Oh, man. You really shouldn't be here. How? Old enough to think he's a man. And he's only still a boy. He just turned 18. Whoa. <laughs> Big day. Big day. Let me tell you. Best present you can give him is to make sure you get home today. It's the only thing keeping me going. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K. <laughs> Tolerant. <Sergeant. laughs> Salimos, man. <laughs> Lieutenant. Herochi on me. That's a bit awkward, but, uh... I yeah. I technically thought I was out of the RB today so until Dar dragged me into his ambush. Hey, solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Your friends, but they're not doing anything dumb. Oh, don't worry. Jason's always dumb. <laughs> uh. Listen, you gotta trust me. They won't hurt you. If you're chill and near me, it'll be fine. <laughs> if you're skulking in the rocks, it's probably gonna shoot at you. <laughs> Stop pointing your guns at me! All right, everyone, take a fucking second. He's not hostile. I don't want to hurt you. Your uniform tells me something different. Drop your fucking weapon, do it now! No, you lower yours first. Drop your weapon before I fucking drop you! You pull that trigger and I swear to Alibaba in the 40 Thieves, it's the last fucking thing you'll do! <laughs> I didn't come this Damn far it. to <laughs> die by a trigger. Happy American! Okay, enough. There's no point in fighting. Not anymore. I ought to put one through your fucking skull. It won't change anything. I'd still be in this hell. Don't tempt me. We're heading back to the temple. Tie him up. If he tries anything, put him down. After all we've been through? Thanks a lot. Hey, you two boys do this together? Of course we did. We fought it together and we won. Jason, we need to talk about this guy. Not now. This I just want to go lost. home. Whatever the hell happened to Joey, <laughs> he's gone. And there are fuck knows how many of those things out there. I say we pull back to the temple and regroup. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. Yeah, maybe we can untie Salim oh. over there. <laughs> he, oh, he really doesn't need to be tied up. Oh, it's just gonna be you by yourself, man. <laughs> Eric's dead. Uh, I have... I have... Send it into actual hell now. Eric? Eric? Oh man, have fun down there. You? Yeah, man, I'm in I'm, uh, town. I'm back with Nick and Jason. Oh, awesome! <laughs> You're in Pazuzuville down there. Or, uh, God, what was it We're uh, collapsing Demon tunnels Souls up here. Town. Oh, fun! Please, please leave one. Nick? <laughs> Jason? Might need one. I think that's probably the plan. Oh, we uh, reset the tripwire, by the way. So when you come running up here from a Pazuzu, uh, be sure not to trip on the grenade. <laughs> bitch. Oh yeah, where's Dar? <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that fucker. 
I don't know. I, I shot him as Nick, but he's not dead. Oh, okay. Good. That can't be anything good. Good. He deserves it. Even though I had a sentimental moment looking at his wallet. Fuck him. Fuck that guy. <laughs> he's a crazy asshole. Yeah, Sam's there's Frontiers. a psycho, man. Heart dead and tight. Uh, no. Vene Marie Raven, uh, female, 1979, AIDS Without Borders, Director of Operations. All right. Something's... Let's not go toward the floppy thing in the, in the water. All these floppy things in the water. I'm pretty sure I should just avoid them. It's as fun as it would be to. <laughs> Secret is found. Tore right through this helmet. Oh, you're finding all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, man. I'm I'm deep in the gore pits. this? Oh, I have some shit to read. Alright. A lot of it's unintelligible. 13th of December. Blech and I descended in Blech. As we left, I was struck by the temperament. She seemed eager, almost manic, in the face of our new discovery. When we reached the bottom, Crow could not prevent himself. Blech before us, set in a dizzying vault. <laughs> lay a Blech loathsome, colossal, and sleeping. A great carcass built in something. Overcome with awe, I. And that was it that for that part. 28th of December. God forgive us. For days we have studied this dead, silent realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber, her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. When Bradshaw learned what had happened, she was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, sounding distressed and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her. I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place. So there is a giant... Great... A great carcass built somewhere? Okay, now it is getting into... A great carcass? We, we don't necessarily need to have what? old gods or any weird Cthulhu or space or... Uh, other shit to have like a Lovecraftian monster story, but it sounds like there might be one deeper in. Yeah, you're getting it. We're gonna get some of the fucking more fucked up shit. Oh, I found one of the, the dead explorers from the 40s. Nice. He's a withered skeleton. Oh, I found a letter. Yeah, there was a group in the 70s too, it looked like. Or at least someone who died, a doctor without borders. Oh, the missing aid workers. It's probably... Oh, no, that wouldn't make sense, because this is too Okay. Something. We're, get, we're getting literal uh, eldritch shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Blowing the hole through it. the rock face. We found a gateway to a strange world below. Oh, fuck. The phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over all, us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable, but I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I'm now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch Oops. and the elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below? I wonder, undisturbed by the world below, above. <laughs> is this... Yeah, they're, they're going to find fucking Cthulhu shit. <laughs> Part of me wonders if this is a a sequel to um, literally an actual just Call of Cthulhu like mini campaign that the devs played and they're like alright for our next horror game let's just make a sequel to that <laughs> fucking maybe uh, that would make a lot of sense honestly I have a torch I have a torch how is that light? Oh, there's a fucking bone pile down here, man. Yep. Uh, spooky green light. 
green haze is Oh, occurring. you found... You, you found the Eldritch portal, man. Saliva. We have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the maw of the creature extracted from the cocoon. I and others who smelt the substance have experienced heart palpitations and a heightened sense of fear. Some have reported odd visual effects, such as a change of cup to colors. Nice. We have attempted to secure additional samples of the saliva from the site where M was attacked. The smell was so overpowering that respirators were used to collect samples. We recommend the use of masks at all times when handling samples to avoid becoming affected. Sensation similar to experience with mushrooms? Psilocybin? Cybin? Maybe. So, uh, this is also where the hallucinogen gas came, came from in, uh, from that first game. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying? Uh... Okay. You, you good? So, uh, I'm setting a corridor with a bunch of explosives. I went okay. with the wire up the middle of the corridor option, so okay. you should be able to see the wires if you come running through. The other option was uh -oh. to hide uh, mines along the sides <laughs> so that you wouldn't be able to see them. <laughs> I am being very slowly chased. I see it coming. I don't know what to do about it. I'm just going to keep waiting. Uh... Stay away. Is it Pazuzu? Or is it something else? What the fuck? Pazuzu! Get Pazuzu counter. Dusty bones. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Ooh, what? Run, Clarice. Now, go. What the fuck? Aren't you dead? Yeah. Wait, Maurice is down there. She's alive. They're saving us from mating. We have to hopefully. hurry. I mean, not, not hopefully. Here. God, I meant like. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what I meant. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's maybe why they're alive, but it's not okay. Good. Man. Yeah. No. Brain. <laughs> they, they didn't just eat you. Cause. Yeah. Because squeaky times, squeaky well, plan. I, I hope. <laughs> I hope that's not what I the Pazuzus are doing. I, Maybe they're just yeah, keeping yeah. you down there like a fridge to eat well, you later. Happened? Hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. That's the hopefully, it is, even though that's not good either. <laughs> yeah. Where have you been? It's better than the Pazuzu rape gang. Me, <laughs> me down here, left me for dead. Oh. Fuck. It's, it's fucking dark. Even start you cover. psycho. Oh. I'm lucky to have what away. the. You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing. Okay. You should be thankful I was there to help you. I've discovered the secret of where Pazuzu's come from, I think. Oh. I didn't need saving. I can handle myself. Yeah, that's what I thought. Unless I'm hallucinating or something. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Yeah, no. I don't think it's hallucination. I think he's like a zombie or something. Right? He's, he's becoming a Pazuzu. Ask. That ever cross your mind? 